Hello. This is called A is for America, an American alphabet. That was given to me by a former student. Very informative, but kind of long. Let's see. <clears throat> the United States of America was formed in 1776 out of 13 colonies that fought for independence from Great Britain. Compared to many nations around the world, the United States is relatively young. It is neither the largest country in the world nor the most populous. But in so many ways, the United States of America is the most influential nation on earth, especially in its belief in democracy. The idea that a government should be of the people, by the people, and for the people. Okay. Go tell Matt and Ian and Madison and Bo and Griffin, Quinn and Christian and everyone you know. Tell Andy, Bryson, Mason, Kirby, Addison and Erica shout it out from the highest hill that A is for America. B. The Battle of Bunker Hill was actually won by the British. But the American patriots fought so bravely that the battle became a rallying cry for the rest of the American Revolution. The Liberty Bell can be found in Philadelphia. It was rung in 1776 to announce a public reading of the Declaration of Independence. The Liberty Bell hasn't been rung since 1846 when the bell cracked. B can be for Boston and the Battle of Bunker Hill and breaking from the British who ruled here until a band of brave believers behind a boisterous yell brought forth a brand new nation and banged the Liberty Bell. C. C is for the cities that reach into the blue, it, like Chicago, Cleveland, Charlotte, and Cincinnati do. And it's for the Constitution that guides us still today, written for we the people, to find a better way. Cities in the United States come in all sizes and personalities. Each has its own habits and traditions. Charleston, South Carolina is very different from Cheyenne, Wyoming but they are both very American. The Constitution is the set of ideas and laws that gave birth to the United States of America. It was written in 1787, and it very much guides our nation today. Many other nations have used the American Constitution as an instruction book for their own governments. <clears throat> Detroit is in Michigan. A northern state, Dallas is in Texas, a southern state, Denver is in Colorado. A western state, Dover is in Delaware, an eastern state. There are two Dakotas in the United States, North Dakota and South Dakota. Dakota is the Sioux Indian word for friend. D is for Detroit and its shiny automobiles. It's called the Motor City and it put the world on wheels. It's Dallas and it's Denver and Dover, Delaware. It's the Dakotas in December when snow is in the air. E is for the elegant eagle soaring above the hill and the ever-flowing Everglades where egrets eat their fill. E is an endless echo in the Grand Canyon at dawn and Eureka, it's Thomas Edison turning the light bulb on. The bald eagle is the symbol of the United States. Egrets are tall, slender birds that live in the swamps of Florida, better known as the Everglades. While Thomas Edison was a brilliant man who invented many things, the light bulb wasn't one of them. While he's given credit for the invention, he actually improved on the designs of others. We celebrate Independence Day on July 4th of every year. The fireworks we display remind us of the rocket's red glare mentioned in our national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. Phoenix, Arizona is the largest capital city in the United States. Montpelier, Vermont is the smallest capital city. F is for the fireworks that fly on the 4th, from Fort Worth in the south to Fargo in the north. F is 50 fluttering flags and 50 license plates. 50 fine state capitals in 50 United States. G 
is for Gold Rush that swept the Golden State and gave us California with its grand Golden Gate. And for Alaska's glaciers that glisten on the coast and the gushing of a geyser that hovers like a ghost. The name California came from an old Spanish story about an island of gold. The Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco is actually painted orange, but it looks golden in the sunlight. Old Faithful at Yellowstone National Park is perhaps the world's most famous geyser. It erupts about 20 times every day. Ernest Hemingway is remembered as one of the greatest writers in American history. The, his stories were filled with adventure. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn was written by Mark Twain. It's about an orphaned boy living along the Mississippi River in the 1800s. Henry Ford didn't invent the automobile, but his way of building them was so successful, successful many people believe he did. H stands for Hemingway and Huckleberry Finn. Hydroelectric Hoover Dam and so many Holiday Inns. Hot Dogs in Hawaii, Henry Ford and his cars. Heading home on Halloween with chocolate Hershey bars. <laughs> it's kind of cute. I is indeed important how America came to be. It's the idea that an individual can insist on being free. And I is for Im immigration and the immigrants who came from Italy, Ireland, in or India, we're Americans all the same. Most early settlers who came to the United States were looking for some kind of freedom to work, worship, or live as they wished. Many immigrants who came to America made their first stop at Ellis Island, New York, where they were allowed into the United States to begin their new lives. The Statue of Liberty has become a symbol of freedom to people all over the world Lady Liberty stands in New York Harbor. J. Jamestown, Virginia was one of the first permanent settlements in America. Thomas Jefferson is remembered as one of the greatest Americans in history. He was a patriot, a philosopher, a statesman, a farmer, a musician, a diplomat, and an architect. In jazz, musicians, are free to make up the music as they go along. This improvisational music most likely got its start in New Orleans. From Jamestown to James Monroe, we need the letter J. If not for Thomas Jefferson, where would we be today? It's Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and the jiggle that Jello has. It's a jam session jumping with the music we call jazz. Kitty Hawk in Kansas and Kodiak Bears, King Kamahamaea, Kellogg's Rice Krispie Squares. K is for two kinds of king, George III who was defeated and Martin Luther King Jr. from whom our troubled nation needed. Kitty Hawk, North Carolina is where Orville and Wilbur Wright flew the very first airplane. The first flight took place December 17, 1903 and lasted 12 seconds. King Kamehameha was the ruler of Hawaii more than 100 years before Hawaii became a state. The birthday of civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. was established as a national holiday in 1983. While Abraham Lincoln was president, the United States was in danger of splitting into two countries. In 1863, he issued the Emancipation Proclamation, which ended slavery. For keeping the nation together in such troubled times, many historians believe Abraham Lincoln was the greatest president in American history. Abraham Lincoln gets all of L. It's elementary, you see. He held us all together and at the same time set us free. His memorial in Washington makes him a giant of a man or look upon a smaller one, the penny in your hand. M. Mayflower Mitten Man, Motown Manatee. M is Mickey Mantle, Mickey Mouse Monopoly. M can seem so mighty when it's a river rolling by. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 One of the greatest baseball players ever, Mickey Mantle, is named for another great player, Mickey Cochran. The manatee is, a sometimes, is sometimes called a sea crow. The Mississippi River is the longest river in the United States, stretching from Lake Itaca, Minnesota, to just south of New Orleans, Louisiana. 
Motown introduced the world to many amazingly talented African-American musicians and performers. Perhaps the country's most beloved artist, Norman Rockwell, painted everyday scenes of American life. More than 400 Native Americans from the Navajo tribe helped the United States win World War II with the Navajo language. Troop movements and battle plans were communicated through Navajo code talkers. The enemy was unable to decipher what the code talkers were saying. In 1969, the entire world watched as Neil Armstrong became the first man to set foot on the moon. Joining him on the Apollo 11 mission were Buzz Aldrin and Michael Cohen. Norman Rockwell, Niagara Falls, a night in New Mexico. New Orleans and Native American, N is for Navajo. And NASA and Neil Armstrong, who reached the moon to find that it was one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The Old West, the OK Corral, the Old Oregon Trail, an old ornery outlaw, an owl on a rail. Old Faithful, Old Glory, and Good Old Oreos, an overlook in the Ozarks where the occasional opossum goes. The OK Corral was the site of a famous gunfight in Tombstone, Arizona in 1881. The Oregon Trail was actually a series of trails that allowed settlers to move from the eastern half of the country to the western half. Old Glory is a nickname for the U.S. flag. Pike's Peak was named for Zeb Zebulon Pike, whose only attempt at climbing the mountain was unsuccessful due to a storm. Peanut butter was just one of more than 300 uses for peanuts invented by George Washington Carver. Rosa Parks helped the nation understand that rights were for everyone, regardless of their skin color. Pike's Peak and peanut butter, that's the letter P. Plymouth Rock and Pilgrim's at peril on the sea. Rosa Parks parades popcorn in a pan. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, where all of it began. Q is for the quill that John Hancock used to place his quite creative signature in a most important space. It's for the American Quarter and the Bob White Quail and the quilts that kept the Quakers warm in a Pennsylvania gale. John Hancock was the president of the Second Continental Congress, which drew up the Declaration of Independence. His large and unique signature on the Declaration of Independence became so famous that today someone may request your signature by asking for your John Honk Hancock. Many Quakers came to America seeking religious freedom. Many settled in Pennsylvania, which was named for a Quaker, William Penn. A remote reach of the Rockies, the reflection of Mount Rainier, the regal ridge of Mount Rushmore, the right of Paul Revere, the Roosevelt's Franklin and Teddy, Babe Ruth, rock and roll, Rosie the Riveter, the Rio Grande, and remember the Alamo. The Rocky Mountains stretch from New Mexico to Alaska. The faces of four presidents are carved on Mount Rushmore, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Theodore Roosevelt. Rosie the Riveter symbolizes the role that women played in keeping the USA strong during World War II. Old Glory isn't the only nickname for the US flag. It's also known as the Stars and Stripes. There are 13 stripes on the flag, one for each of the original colonies, and there are 50 stars on the flag, one for each state. Susan B. Anthony crusaded for women's rights, including the right to vote. Sitting Bull was a great chief of the Sioux Indians. Stand and salute the Stars and Stripes, a symbol to celebrate. A stripe for each of the colonies and a star for every state. Susan B. Anthony, Sierra Nevada, a steam locomotive train. Sitting Bull and Samuel Clemens, better known as Mark Twain. Almost done. T is as tall as Texas for Thanksgiving until a phone. Harry S. Truman, Harriet Tubman, and trips to the Twilight Zone. Times Square on New Year's Eve, a tasty Tootsie Roll, turning timber into a tall and towering totem pole. The tradition of Thanksgiving began with the pilgrims before the Uni United States was even a country. It's now celebrated on the fourth Thursday of November. 
Born into slavery, Harriet Tubman freed herself and then worked to free many, many others. Times Square in New York City hosts the world's most famous New Year's Eve party every December 31st. The name Utah comes from a Native American word meaning people of the mountain. Ulysses S. Grant was the commander of the Union Army in the Civil War. After the war, he became the country's 18th president. Written by Harriet Beecher Stowe, Uncle Tom's Cabin taught much of the nation about slavery. You takes up to Utah, unafraid of an upcoming storm. It's undeniably Ulysses S. Grant in his Union uniform. It's also Uncle Tom's Cabin, which helped us understand the uncommon things we must upload for dear old Uncle Sam. These for the veterans and the valor they displayed in vying for vital victories and the sacrifices they made. These for Virginia and Vermont and Vikings too. It seems they got here long before Columbus was able to. Veterans are people who have served their country in the armed forces. Many people gave their lives fighting for the United States of America. Four of the first five presidents were born in Virginia. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, and James Monroe. While Christopher Columbus often gets the credit, it's now believed that Viking Leif Erikson was the first European to reach North America. After leading the American armies in the Revolution, George Washington became the first president of the United States. Washington was the first man to sign the Constitution of the United States of America. George Washington is the only U.S. president who didn't live in the White House. It wasn't completed until after he left office. Washington believed he was first and foremost a farmer. He introduced the mule to American farming. Wheeling, West Virginia, Walt Disney, a wagon train. World War I and World War II, the World Series, and John Wayne. W stands for Washington, who wintered at Valley Forge. City, state, and president, all named for him by George. Couple more. The letter X should remind us of the importance of Election Day, when all Americans rich and poor are allowed to have their say. Some were told they couldn't vote if they couldn't write their name, so they signed the ballot with the letter X, and it counted just the same. Free elections are one of the most cherished and important practices of a democracy. Early in our nation's history, only white men were allowed to vote, but amendments to our Constitution gave voting rights to men and women of every race. Local elections are held at various times, but national elections are held on the first Tuesday in November. Yellowstone National Park is located mostly in Wyoming, but extends into Montana and Idaho as well. Yosemite National Park is located in the Sierra Nevada mountains of California. The New York Yankees are probably the most famous sports team in American history. Why can make you hungry, as Yogi Bear has shown, out yonder you'll find why for Yosemite and Yellowstone. The Y can be a place for fun like the YMCA, and in the Bronx it's Yankee Stadium where the New York Yankees play. Z is for the Zane Gray who wrote stories about the West. Z is also for zip codes that I think that I like best. For Z to remind us Whitcomb Judson, as clever as he could be, he gave us the magical zipper in 1893. It's a special place, this land of ours, from sea to shining sea. And now you know it from America's A all the way to Zipper Z. The United States Post Office added zip codes to mailing addresses in 1963. Whitcomb Judson actually called his invention a class blocker, and it wasn't designed for clothes. It was originally designed to replace shoestrings on shoes. Fourteen years after Judson's death, the B.F. Goodrich Company began calling his device a zipper, because of the way it sounded. There you go. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.